Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to my channel SK Electronic Prep. Today we will learn what is Ohm's law and why is it called Ohm's law. Who was Ohm and what did he discover? So let's get started. Ohm's law was established through an experiment conducted by German physicist George Simon Ohm in 1827. Ohm conducted a series of exquisite experiments to see how the thickness and length of a wire as well as the metal from which it is constructed, impacts its ability to carry electricity. As a measure of electrical current, a compass needle was placed near a wire because amateurs had not yet been devised. He found out that the voltage across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it, provided all the physical conditions and temperature, remain constant. This is actually the statement of Ohm's law. Mathematically, we can write, V is directly proportional to I by removing the proportionality sign. We obtain a constant R which is called the resistance of the conductor. It has unit of ohm named by the scientist. Ohm is represented by the Greek letter omega and looks like an inverted horseshoe. To understand resistance deeply, go check my video on resistance and everything about resistance will be cleared to you. Now, we will understand Ohm's law by water pipe analogy. V is the voltage analogous to pressure that triggers electrons. As water flows from higher pressure to lower pressure similarly, electron flows from high voltage to low voltage or you can also say from positive to negative and this is called electrical current that flows due to electrons. Anyhow, conventional current flows from negative to positive and is caused by holes or positive charges. Voltage is actually a force that activates electrons at rest to keep moving. We know that current is defined as rate of flow of charges. Now, we have seen that electrons have started to move hence current is produced. I is the current which is rate of flow of electrons, or water flowing in case of water analogy. R is the resistance which controls the flow of current and depends upon the conductor. It can also be controlled through the switch. Flow of water can be controlled through valve or the size of pipe. The more the voltage, the more will be the current the more the pressure, the more the water flow wider pipes offer less resistance as compared to narrow pipes in electrical circuit, resistance depends on the conductor material. If you are unable to remember the different forms of Ohm's law, then this magical triangle makes your job easier. Create a triangle and divide it into three parts like this. The voltage at the top of the triangle is described as V, the current on the left side is represented as I, and the resistance on the right side of the triangle is described as R. The top and bottom parameters are divided and the adjacent parameters are multiplied if you need to find the voltage, just multiply the values of resistance and current. To find the value of current, divide voltage value by the resistance value. Similarly, to find the resistance, divide the voltage by the current. Ohm's law doesn't hold true for all materials. Therefore, there are two types of materials according to Ohm's law, ohmic and non-ohmic materials. Let's first discuss ohmic conductors or materials. All those materials which obey Ohm's law are called ohmic materials and the examples are wires, resistors, iron, and copper. The current voltage graph of ohmic materials consists of a straight line passing through origin. Resistance of ohmic materials is constant. Now, let's discuss the properties of non-ohmic materials. Materials that do not obey Ohm's law are called non-linear conductors or non-ohmic materials. The examples are diodes, fluorescent lamps, and semiconductors. Current voltage or VI graph of these materials is a curved line. Non-ohmic materials do not have fixed resistance. Practical uses of Ohm's law are as follows. Number 1 Voltage and current values can be calculated using Ohm's law to detect faults at any point in the electrical circuit. If deviations from the values are seen, this may indicate component damage or incorrect circuit connections. Number 2 The low current reading of the DC circuit may be due to a low voltage or increased resistance. Corrosion, elevated temperatures, or loose contacts can cause increased resistance. Number 3 Appliances provide safe current and voltage ratings for the devices to function properly. Ohm's law can be used to identify which parts of the circuit are not functioning properly. Number 4 It maintains the required voltage drop for all components. Number 5 It is also used to divert the current in DC amateurs and shunts. Hope, you enjoyed learning with us. 
If you really like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and support us by subscribing to our channel for more animated educational videos.